after 45 years with nothing to throw at this disease in metastatic inoperable patients, we now have perplexing setting uh, that is actually a delightful one for us to contend with where we have to figure out which combinations are the very best for patients. And treatment in the adjuvant setting has had for 30 years only one approved agent that we developed here in 1985-6, um, trial E1684 with high dose interferon. We now have a second modality, the checkpoint blockade agent ipilimumab, which has had significant benefit both against uh, the risk for mortality to improve survival of patients with operable disease. But we already see within a month the breaking of data for this second generation checkpoint inhibitors as adjuvant treatment for this disease. I think we're going to have to deal with combinations of agents, binary combinations, say the PD-1 and IDO inhibitors that are currently very exciting, um, but potentially the next step may even be ternary combinations where PD-1 inhibitors, IDO inhibitors, and the gut microbiome, for instance, could be deployed in combination. And there, our approaches will have to adopt new statistical uh, designs. They will have to become adaptive so that we can test five, six different combinations at once and pick the best horse to race um, out of the field of those that we're testing at a given time in a more rapid fashion than we have in the past. So I think it's been a true revolution in what we have to offer patients with melanoma. Um, up until six years ago, we had no treatments that in patients with metastatic inoperable melanoma had the chance to uh, improve cure significantly in large randomized phase three trials. We now have 10 FDA approved agents that have an impact upon survival. We have another couple that we expect by the end of this year, perhaps even as many as four or five by the turn uh, of 2018.